going on people I'm back uh, I was gonna do this update a couple weeks ago but I'm like you know what I thought new year why not start fresh why not do it big uh, so I've been collecting the past few weeks and uh, thought I'd do this now uh, probably this year I'll do something a little different I started buying blu-rays so you'll probably see like a regular DVD update mixed in with some Blu-rays and everything, so you'll see something new from me. You'll see probably more reviews and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I got a good amount of stuff over the past few weeks, so this update might come in two parts. Plus, I also got a uh, unboxing. I haven't done that in a while. I got a lot of packages in, but I didn't unpackage them, like on video. But uh, I got one in. Let me start a new unbubbling for the new year. So as you can see, right here, I got a uh, packaging. I don't know, I think I know what it is, but uh, we'll see if it is. Yep, that's what I thought. I didn't have this movie, I bought it fairly new. Jack, with uh, Robin Williams, he got a disease and he uh, ages a lot quicker. He's actually like a... I think he was a 10-year-old kid in this movie, but he looks like a 40-year-old man. So, I haven't had this movie, and I got it for cheap, so I thought I'd get it off Amazon. Uh, today, Tuesday, I went and uh, bought a bunch of new movies from uh, Best Buy and uh, Walmart. So, I'll show you those first. I picked up uh, Dinner for Smucks. I heard it was pretty funny. Uh, I was thinking about getting this movie on Blu-ray, but then I thought the only movies I'll probably start getting on Blu-rays is action movies or something that will actually look different. Like a comedy, I really don't see the point in spending the extra couple bucks on a Blu-ray because it's a comedy. You're not looking for special, like, uh, better graphics or anything like that. So I thought I'd get this on a regular DVD. Uh, didn't see this in the movies, like I said, but I heard good things, so I thought I'd get it. Uh, this one, I read the back. I didn't know what this was, and uh, it sounded pretty decent. Uh, Case 39 with uh, Renee Zellweger, Ian McShane, and Bradley Cooper. Uh, the storyline sounds pretty good, so I thought I'd pick it up. This one, I uh, I saw... Uh, preview for it, I think it was on YouTube or something, and, uh, it sounded pretty, pretty decent, it's called, uh, Catfish, from what I took from the, uh, the trailer is, this one guy goes on, like, uh, Facebook or one of the online sites and meets this girl, and pretty much now he's stalking her, so, uh, it sounded pretty decent, so I went and I picked it up. I got this at Best Buy. These next couple I got on Blu-ray. Uh, this one came out today. Uh, I heard bad reviews on it, but Danny Trejo's in it, so I thought I'd get it. Uh, it looked pretty good from what I saw. Maybe it's not for everyone, but uh, Machete. It looked pretty cool, so I got this on the Blu-ray digital copy uh... so if you have anything to say about this let me know uh... this one came out i got it on blu-ray too i thought this would probably look good it's the uh... last exorcism uh... didn't really hear anything about it the uh... preview looks pretty good so i picked that up this one isn't really new it was on sale for like six bucks at uh... best buy so i got it it's the uh, the Natural with uh, Robert Duvall and Glenn Close. Uh, I remember seeing this when I was young, but I do not remember what it's about for the life of me. So I'm going to have to put this in and watch it again. Uh, this stuff I'm going to show you is a bunch of older movies uh, that I got. Uh, this one isn't really older. It's just the... Uh, Extended collector, Collector's Edition, I can't talk, it's a three disc set of Avatar, kind of heavy actually, uh, it says it's got a lot of uh, different stuff in it, 
three versions of the film. Uh, it says there's 16 minutes of extra footage. I didn't watch this yet, so plus I might not be able to see what the new footage is because I don't remember the original. So I'll probably have to watch this again. This one is old school. I got it for four bucks, and it was towards Christmas time, right before Christmas time. I got it at Fye. It's the uh, March of the Wooden Soldiers with uh, Laurel and Hardy. I used to watch these guys on their own little skits and everything. They're not as good as the Three Stooges of that like, but I like them. Uh, this one has Bill Murray in it. It's an old school one. I bought it off Amazon for like three bucks. Uh, meatballs. About a summer camp. Uh, this wasn't as funny as I remember it. I guess I thought it was funny when I was younger, but what could you do? These two came in a two-pack. Uh, I thought they were going to be somewhat good, and I bought them. I think it was a good thing it was only like eight bucks, so it was like four bucks a piece. They were on sale, I got it for Christmas, because these movies pretty much sucked. Uh, automation Transfusion. The way this was taped, it looked like they taped it from like uh, a regular video camera. And Black Sheep, uh, I really didn't expect too much from this movie, but I, I guess I thought it would be a little bit better, but Black Sheep. Uh, this one I got as a free gift from uh, Columbia House. I bought one was a director's selection, and every month they give you an option of getting one movie for cheaper. And uh, I got Eat, Pray, and Love, and uh, this came with it, the Hulk. Don't ask me why it came with that, but it did for free. Can't really complain about it too much. Uh, now on to the new ones. I got this one, uh, the big show's in it, it's pretty funny, I mean, and I thought it'd probably be stupid, there were stupid parts, but there's funny parts, uh, Knucklehead, it's alright, I'd say if you like the wrestling or whatever, check it out, uh, I had the first season of this, so I thought I'd get the second one, close it out, uh, Jersey Shore, there's a third one coming soon, like I said in the other one, it makes Jersey look like we're a bunch of retards, but... It's pretty funny. I like watching the drama, so I got season two. Uh, this one closes out this. Uh, I didn't see it in the theaters. Everyone told me it was the best out of all of them, and I watched it. I thought it was good. I didn't. I, I think the first one's still better. Uh, Shrek, the final chapter, or Forever After. Uh, it was pretty funny, I do have to say, but I still I think the first one's the best. Uh, this one... I heard a lot of people say it sucked, but I thought it was really funny, actually. Uh, Grown Ups comes with uh, Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, and Rob Schneider. Uh, with that cast, I didn't see how it could go wrong, and I heard bad stuff, but uh, I enjoyed it a lot. This one I heard wasn't that good, and I watched it, and it was all right. I mean, I thought it could have been funnier. But uh, the other guys with uh, Mark Wahlberg and Will Farrell, I thought it could have been funnier. Uh, this one completes this series, and this one is definitely the best out of all of them. Uh, I didn't think they could top the first one, but they did. Uh, Toy Story 3. Uh, the first one was really good, then the second one was like a piece of crap. Uh, and then I heard for the longest time they're going to make this one. And I was like, how could they top it? How could they top the first one? And they did. Toy Story 3, probably one of my favorite of the year. There's one I didn't watch yet. I picked up on uh, Black Friday for four bucks. Uh, the Killers with uh, Catherine Heagle and Ashton Kutcher. I couldn't really tell you what it's about. This one probably is my favorite Michael Cera movie, even though it's a little out there. So, uh... Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It is a little out there, a little crazy, uh, but it's probably one of my favorite out of that, besides, uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't even think of the movie. Uh, I'll think of it later. But Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, this one was pretty good. It was supposed to be about, uh, like a regular version of 
um, what do you call it, one of the Disney things, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, uh, got, uh, Nicolas Cage and Jay Burchill in it, uh, I think this guy's funny, and, uh, she's out of my league, and he does a pretty good role in here, he makes a, there's a comic relief in it, but, uh, this is a good movie, uh, this one, I have to watch the whole thing again, uh, Inception, I heard this movie's really good, I guess I'll watch it when I was tired, because I fell asleep and don't remember the whole thing, I probably gotta watch it, when uh, when I'm fully aware, but Inception, I heard a lot of good things about it, so I gotta sit down and watch this. Uh, I got this one just because I had the other two. Uh, I don't like these movies, but I did get the other two, and like I said, I always gotta finish out the collection, and that's uh, Twilight Eclipse. Probably, I'd say it's the best out of all three. I watched all three. But, uh, definitely not my kind of movie. The actors are pretty much horrible. Uh, yeah, can't really say much about this. And, uh, The Expandables. Expendables. Uh, got everyone in it. Uh, probably the best action movie of the year. I heard people give this crap, but I enjoy this movie a lot. Uh... Really can't say much else about this. This is probably one of the best action movies of last year. And uh, that's about it for that update. I am going to do a Blu-ray update because I do got a decent amount of them. Uh, yeah, I'm back for the uh, year. You'll probably see more more updates, definitely. Uh, probably going to try to do it every two weeks now. I did lose my job again for the winter, so I'll have a lot more time on my hands. So probably every two weeks if I get movies. Uh, depending, and uh, like I said, Blu-ray updates, and you'll probably see some uh, reviews. I'll probably start doing, I'll watch a movie, and then uh, you tell me what you want to see me do first, or I'll just pick randomly, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you like this, hopefully you watch it, and uh, yeah, I'll be back for my Blu-ray update.